Welcome to Notion Workspace number four. Here we have the projects, clients, tasks, and SOPs databases. Uh, last time what we did is we added a template inside the clients database, which was the discovery call. So every time you get a new client, then you can just click discovery call and get all the 30 something questions that I've put in there for you. Then what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna create the template inside the projects database, which is the pricing proposal. So let's create that template right now. Uh, we go here into new template. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it pricing proposal proposal and we're going to add the template which I just copied from my other workspace, my original workspace. Okay, now we can go inside here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, now this is the market plan draft. This is how I call it. Once you're finished with it, you'll just delete the draft and it'll be the, the clean one. But the clean version is a bit different because I put out all the phases. Like it's it's a more clean table, which I'll share with you as well. So uh, here, for example, this is a earlier pricing that I did for a client of mine about a year ago, which was pretty complete. It had a lot of stuff that a beginner would probably do so that's why i chose this one so here for example you have google analytics setup google tag manager setup custom dashboard all these things are things that you should be practicing for yourself you should do these things for yourself so that way you can charge clients later to actually do it for them so here we have the pricing this is all the pricing then this is the total and this is the monthly pricing so they'll be paying this as a one-time fee usually i let them pay two or three months on a budget and if they want everything here then they'll choose whatever they want like if they don't want for example tag manager then they won't check it but uh, obviously this is good to you always show your proposal to the client while you're on the phone with them or like on a live chat that way you, you can talk to them because they won't understand all this stuff you know like google now takes that up 300 dollars uh, i don't need that well how do you know you don't need that i'll explain to you why you need it and the reason you need it is basically because you want to know what's going on with your company if you don't know what's going on how are you going to track everything how are you going to know where you're at so these are the, the arguments that you can give once you're, you're showing it, this to them while you're talking to them never send a proposal just like that by email and I'll never do that okay so here we have all the prices and then we have the pricing per month and so in the end what they'll be paying is a fee of five thousand dollars five thousand three hundred and fifteen thousand throughout the year because this is a yearly plan and uh, it won't work if it's not yearly because when you do seo things you can't just expect it to work in three months you know so this is the total it came out to twenty thousand nine hundred but uh, in the end i ended up charging them nineteen thousand and uh, in total and that was it. so here you have the months that it would be so this would be the first month this would be the second month third month and fourth month this was just a draft so i hadn't done it really like completely well but when you'll see the next phase of this template which is the clean draft or the clean uh, market plan then you'll see how how what, what's the use of these numbers here so then we have the members required so that would be me 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 and then the company i changed it to abc because i didn't want to show the name but uh, yeah and then we have the tags if they're tools because these are tools just install keyword hero this is a tool they'll need to pay so it'll be it's it's included within the fee so this is 100 bucks but really the tool costs 50 bucks so they're paying me 50 bucks to install it and 50 bucks for the tool same thing for this install cro tools all of these things are tools now they choose what they want here and in the end what you can do is you create a view which is a view which has only only the selected checkboxes. So we'll do this here, add a filter, checkbox is checked. Now only the ones that are checked are gonna be here. And we're gonna put the sum so that way we can see how much they're gonna pay in total. This would be their total if they chose only this, but obviously uh, this plan would never work if they only chose this. <laughs> and most of the time my clients would choose pretty much everything because I mean, it's a plan, you know, you can't take away pieces of the plan, but you, you can obviously, yes, but you're not going to take away too much. All right. So that's it for this. I'm going to show you now the next piece of this template. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the previous workspace. So we were in the projects database. Now I'll show you what the final proposal looks like, but pricing proposal. I don't have a template for this usually because it's just I take the draft and I complete it but I'll give it to you here as the final because you won't know how to do it yourself so this is the final version so I name it first of all with the initials of the company so for example Nike would be an IK this I just put it as ABC because it's a copy of an original one okay now here we have all the phases okay this is phase one phase two phase three phase four each one of these are our phases from from this section so as you can see here we have a lot of different things but in the end what what they're going to be taking is just everything that has do everything that has don't they won't be here so let's say i change this they, they're like okay i don't want website maintenance so we put don't so it'll go here see we'll remove this now put it back though now if you change something which has phase one or phase two so for example website i'll show you what it does here we have everything that, that's in the phase one then here we have everything that's in phase two everything that's in phase three and then phase four but it's everything you have in phase one two three and four 
which is a do. If it's a don't, then it won't be here because these are the phases. So it's going to be starting like this. The phase one is going to be competitor analysis and monitoring. Then there's going to be the website SEO and initial keyword research, then Shopify hosting, which is just paying for the Shopify hosting. Uh, then you have Shopify theme, marketing strategy framework, content marketing strategy, and content brief. So this is basically pretty much a lot of abstract strategy things. So there's not much deliverable here. There's not many things that are going to be delivered to the client, but there's going to be a lot of research. Most of the times they don't want anything to do with the research. They, they, they won't ask you, oh, give me the research. Stuff that they probably won't understand anyways. So, and then the next phase is going to be a lot of things that are going to be integrating. So we're going to be installing Google Analytics, Search Console, Facebook Pixel, all that stuff. Then it's going to be creating ads, retargeting ads, UTM links, all these things, local optimization, creating a lead magnet. Now, of course, a lot of these things I outsource. Well, not a lot of these things, but a few of these things, especially like the lead magnet or the blog writing. But I'll, I'm going to be the one managing the blog, you know? So I'm going to be finding the keywords, creating the content brief, all that stuff. And then I'll p I pass it on to the writer and they'll write from there. So that's pretty much it. This is the quote for the blog. Uh, each phase is about two, three months. I explain this right here. That way they know. And that's it. You show this to the client once they've accepted the draft and they started the payment. Then you can start putting this together. Uh, sometimes I'll create this before they actually pay because it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot better for them to see. It depends how I'm feeling the customer. You know, it's a case by case situation. I hope you guys like this video. I'll do some more if you like these template types. And uh, every time, by the way, every time I do a new Notion video, well, most of the times they're going to be coming with a template. So this whole template the same as the, the notion workspace template number one which is the first videos in the series the same template so this template is going to be just an evolving template which is going to get better and better with time as i do new videos i'll be adding things so it's like a hub where you can get all of the workspace as one all right and if you want to do the, the workspace with me then just follow along the videos i do step by step i don't skip any step until now from video one till number this is what four i haven't skipped any step so you can you can create this fully with me this is basically a free course you would be paying for this type of things usually. And so yeah, hope you guys like the videos, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care.